inscription by madison cowain read for LibriVox.org by larry wilson inscribed to the pathetic memory of the poet henry timrod long are the days and three times long the nights the weary hours are a heavy chain upon the feet of all earth's dear delights holding them ever prisoners to pain what shall beguile me to believe again in hope that faith within her parable rites of life care reads with eyes whose teardrops stain shall such assist me to subdue the heights long is the night and over long the day the burden of all being is it worse or better lo that they who toil and pray may win not more than they who toil and curse a little sleep a little love ah me and the slow way up the soul's calvary end of poem this recording is in the public domain the dreamer by madison cowain read for librivox dot org by larry wilson even as a child he loved to third the bowers and mark the loafing sunlight's lazy laugh or on each season spell the epitaph of its dead months repeated in their flowers or list the music of the strolling showers whose vagabond notes strum through a twinkling staff or read the day's delivered monograph through all the chapters of its dead dull hours still with the same child faith and child regard he looks on nature hearing at her heart the beautiful beat out the time and place whereby no lesson of this life is hard no struggle vain of science or of art that dies with failure written on its face end of poem this recording is in the public domain Quiet by Madison Cowine, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. A log hut in the solitude, a clapboard roof to rest beneath. This side, the shadow haunted wood, that side, the sunlight haunted heath. At daybreak morn shall come to me In raiment of the white winds spun, Slim in her rosy hand the key That opes the gateway of the sun. Her smile shall help my heart enough With love to labor all the day And cheer the road whose rocks are rough With her smooth footprints each a ray at dusk a voice shall call afar a lone voice like the whippoorwills and on her shimmering brow one star night shall descend the western hills she at my door till dawn shall stand with gothic eyes that dark and deep are mirrors of a mystic land fantastic with the towns of sleep end of poem this recording is in the public domain unqualified by madison cowine read for librivox dot org by bruce kachuk not his the part to win the goal the flaming goal that flies before into whose course the apples roll of self that stay his feet the more beyond himself he shall not win whose flesh is as a driven dust that his own soul must wander in seeing no farther than his lust End of poem this recording is in the public domain unencouraged aspiration by madison cowine read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk 
is mine the part of no companion hand of help except my shadow's silent self a moonlight traveller in fancy's land of leering gnome and hollow laughing elf whose forests deepen and whose moon goes down when night's blind shadow shall usurp my own and mid the dust and wreck of some old town the city of dreams i grope and fall alone end of poem this recording is in the public domain the wood by madison kawine read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. Which hazel, dogwood, and the maple here, and there the oak and hickory, linn, poplar, and the beech tree, far and near, as the eased eye can see. Wild ginger, wahoo, with its wan balloons, and breaks of briars of a twilight green, and fox grapes plumed with summer, and strung moons of mandrake flowers between, deep gold green ferns, and mosses red and gray, mats for what naked mitts white feet, and cool and calm a cascade far away with even falling beat old logs made sweet with death rough bits of bark and tangled twig and knotted root and sunshine splashes and great pools of dark and many a wild bird's flute here let me sit until the indian dusk with copper-colored feet comes down sowing the wildwood with star-fire and musk and shadows blue and brown then side by side with some magician dream to take the owlet haunted lane half roofed with vines led by a firefly gleam that brings me home again End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Wood Notes by Madison Kawine. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. There is a flute that follows me from tree to tree, a water flute a spirit sets to silver lips in waterfalls and through the breath of violets a sparkling music calls hither hello o oh, follow down leafy hill and hollow where through clear swirls with feet like pearls wade up the blue-eyed country girls hither hello o oh, follow there is a pipe that plays to me from tree to tree a bramble pipe an elfin holds to golden lips in berry breaks and swinging o'er the elder wolds a flickering music makes come over come over the new mown clover come over the new mown hay where there by the berries with cheeks like cherries and locks with which the warm wind marries brown girls are hilling the hay all day come over the fields and away come over come over end of poem this recording is in the public domain Success by Madison Kawine. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Gachuk. 
how some succeed who have least need in that they make no effort for and pluck where others pluck a weed the burning blossom of a star grown from no earthly seed for some shall reap that never sow and some shall toil and not attain what boots it in ourselves to know such labor here is not in vain when we still see it so end of poem this recording is in the public domain Song by Madison Cowine, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Unto the portal of the house of song, symbols of wrong and emblems of unrest, and mottoes of despair and envious jest, and stony masks of scorn and hate belong. Who enters here shall feel his soul denied all welcome lo the chiselled form of love that stares in marble on the shrine above the tomb of beauty where he dreamed and died who enters here shall know no poppy flowers of rest or harp tones of serene content only sad ghosts of music and of scent shall mock the mind with their remembered powers here must he wait till striving patience carves his name upon the century storied floor his heart's blood staining one dim pain the more in fame's high casement while he sings and starves End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Old Spring by Madison Quine. Read for LibriVox.org by Julie Thompson. The Old Spring. Under rocks where on the rose, like a strip of morning glows, where the azure throated newt drowses on the twisted root. And the brown bees, humming homeward, stop to suck the honeydew. Fern and leaf hid, gleaming gloamward, drips the wildwood spring I knew, drips the spring my boyhood knew. Myrrh and music everywhere haunt its cascades, like the hair that a naiad tosses cool, swimming strangely beautiful, with white fragrance for her bosom, for her mouth a breath of song. Under leaf and branch and blossom flows the woodland spring along, sparkling, singing, flows along. Still the wet wan morns may touch its gray rocks, perhaps, and such slender stars as dusk may have pierce the rose that roofs its wave. Still the thrush may call at noontide, and the whippoorwill at night, nevermore by sun or moontide. Shall I see its gliding white, falling, flowing, wild and white? End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Hills of the West by Madison Quine. Read for LibriVox.org by Julie Thompson. Hills of the West, that gird forest and farm, Home of the nestling bird, housing from harm, When on your tops is heard, storm. Hills of the West, that bar belts of the gloam, Under the twilight star, where the mists roam, Take ye the wanderer, home. Hills of the West, that dream under the moon, Making of wind and stream, late heard and soon, Parts of your lives that seem tune. 
hills of the west that take slumber to ye, be it for sorrow's sake or memory, part of such slumber make me. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Flowers by Madison Quine, read for LibriVox.org by Julie Thompson. Flowers Oh, why for us the blighted bloom, the blossom that lies withering? The master of life's changeless loom hath wrought for us no changeless thing. Where grows the rose of fadeless grace? Where through the spirit manifests the fact of an immortal race? the dream on which religion rests. Where buds the lily of our faith that grows for us in unknown wise, out of the barren dust of death, the pregnant bloom of paradise. In heaven, so near that flowers know, that flowers see how near, and thus reflect the knowledge here below of love and life unknown to us. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Second Sight by Madison Quine. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Julie Thompson. Second Sight by Madison Quine. Read for LibriVox.org by Julie Thompson. They lean their faces to me through green windows of the woods, their white throats sweet with honeydew beneath low leafy hoods. No dream they dream but hath been true here in the solitudes. Star trillium in the underbrush, in whom spring bears her face. Sun eglantine that breathes the blush of summer's quiet grace. Moon mallow and whom lives the hush of autumn's tragic pace. For one hath heard the dryad sighs behind the covering bark, and one hath felt the satyr's eyes gleam in the bosky dark, and one hath seen the naiad rise in waters all a spark. I bend my soul unto them, stilled in worship man hath lost, the old world myths that science killed, are living things almost, to me through these whose forms are filled with beauty's pagan ghost. And through new eyes I seem to see the world these live within, a shuttered world of mystery where unreal forms begin, the real of ideality that has no unreal kin. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Dead Sea Fruit by Madison Conway, read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. All things have power to hold us back. Our very hopes build up a wall of doubt, whose shadow stretches black o'er all. The dreams that helped us once become dread disappointments that oppose dead eyes to ours and lips made dumb with woes. The thoughts that opened doors before within the mind's house hide away. Discouragement hath locked each door for a. Come loss more frequently than gain, and failure than success, until the spirit's struggle to attain is still. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Wood Witch by Madison K. Wine Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The Wood Witch There is a woodland witch who lies With bloom-bright limbs and bean-bright eyes Among the water flags that rank The slow brook's heron-haunted bank The dragon flies in brass and blue Are signs she works her sorcery through Weird wizard character she weaves Her spells by under forest leaves these wait her word 
like imps upon the gray flag pods their wings of lawn and gauze their bodies gleamy green while o'er the wet sand left between the running water and the still and pansy hues and daffodil the fancies that she meditates take on most sumptuous shapes with traits like butterflies tis she you hear whose sleepy rune hummed in the ear of silence bees and beetles purr and the dry droning locusts whirr till where the wood is very lone vague monotone meets monotone and slumber is begotten born a fairy child beneath the thorn there is no mortal who may scorn the witchery she spreads around her dim domain wherein is bound the beauty of abandoned time as some sweet thought twixt rhyme and rhyme and by her spell you shall behold the blue turn gray the gray turn gold of hollow heaven and the brown of twilight vistas twinkle down with fireflies and in the gloom feel the cool vowels of perfume slow syllabled of weed and bloom but in the night at languid rest when like a spirit's naked breast the moon slips from a silver mist with star-bound brow and star-wreathed wrist if you should see her rise and wave you welcome ah what thing shall save you then forevermore her slave end a poem this recording is in the public domain at sunset by madison kawine read for LibriVox.org by bruce Kachuk. Into the sunset's turquoise marge The moon dips like a pearly barge Enchantment sails through magic seas To fairy land Hesperides Over the hills and away Into the fields in ghost-gray gown The young-eyed dusk comes slowly down her apron filled with stars she stands and one or two slip from her hands over the hills and away above the woods black cauldron bends the witch-faced night and muttering blends the dew and heat whose bubbles make the mist and musk that haunt the break over the hills and away oh come with me and let us go beyond the sunset lying low beyond the twilight and the night into love's kingdom of long light over the hills and away end of poem this recording is in the public domain May by Madison Kawine Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk The golden disks of the rattlesnake weed That spangle the woods and dance No gleam of gold that the twilights hold Is strong as their necromance For under the oaks where the wood paths lead The golden disks of the rattlesnake weed Are the May's own utterance the azure stars of the bluet bloom that sprinkle the woodland's trance no blink of blue that a cloud lets through is sweet as their countenance for over the knolls that the woods perfume the azure stars of the bluet bloom are the light of the may's own glance with her wondering words and her looks she comes in a sunbeam of a gown she needs but think and the blossoms wink but look and they shower down by orchard ways where the wild bee hums with her wandering words and her looks she comes like a little maid to town end of poem this recording is in the public domain
the wind of spring by madison kawine read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk the wind that breathes of columbines and bleeding hearts that crowd the rocks that shakes the balsam of the pines with music from his flashing locks stops at my city door and knocks he calls me far a forest where the twin leaf and the blood root bloom and circled by the amber air life sits with beauty and perfume weaving the new web of her loom he calls me where the waters run through fronding ferns where haunts the hern and sparkling in the equal sun song leans beside her brimming urn and dreams the dreams that love shall learn the wind has summoned and i go to con god's meaning in each line the flowers write and walking slow god's purpose of which song is sign the wind's great gusty hand in mine end of poem this recording is in the public domain interpreted by madison kawine read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk what magic shall solve us the secret of beauty that's born for an hour that gleams like the flight of an egret or burns like the scent of a flower with death for a dower what leaps in the busk but a satyr what pipes on the wind but a fawn or laughs in the waters that scatter but limbs of a nymph who is gone when we walk in the dawn what sings on the hills but a fairy or sighs in the fields but a sprite what breathes through the leaves but the airy soft spirits of shadow and light when we walk in the night behold how the world heart is eager to draw us and hold us and claim through truths of the dreams that beleaguer her soul she makes ours the same and death but a name end of poem this recording is in the public domain the willow bottom by madison kawine read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk lush green the grass that grows between the willows of the bottom land verged by the careless water tall and green the brown-topped cattails stand the cows come gently here to browse slow through the great leafed sycamores you hear a dog bark from a low-roofed house with cedars round its doors then all is quiet as the wings of the high buzzard floating there anon a woman's high-pitched voice that sings an old camp meeting air a flapping cock that crows and then heard drowsy through the rustling corn a flutter and the cackling of a hen within a hay-sweet barn how still again no water stirs no wind is heard although the weeds are waved a little and from silk-filled burrs drift by a few soft seeds so drugged with sleep and dreams that you expect to see her gliding by hummed round of bees through blossoms spilling dew the spirit of july end of poem this recording is in the public domain the old barn by madison kawine 
Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Lo, swallow swept and gray, Between the orchard and the spring, All its wide windows overflowing hay, And crannied doors a-swing, The old barn stands to-day. Deep in its hay the leghorn hides A round white nest, and humming soft on roof and rafter o'er its log rude sides black in the sun-shot loft the building hornet glides along its corn crib cautiously as thieving fingers skulks the rat or in warped stalls of fragrant timothy gnaws at some loosened slat or passes shadowy a dream of drouth made audible before its door hot smooth and shrill all day the locust sings what other spell shall hold it lazier still than the long days now tell dusk and the cricket and the strain of tree toad and of frog and stars that burn above the rich west's ribbed stain and dropping pasture bars and cowbells up the lane night and the moon and katie did and leaf lisp of the wind-touched boughs and mazy shadows that the fireflies thrid and sweet breath of the cows and the lone owl here hid End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Clearing by Madison Kawine Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Before the wind with rain-drowned stalks The pleated crimson hollyhocks are bending And smoldering in the breaking brown Above the hills that edge the town the day is ending the air is heavy with the damp and one by one each cottage lamp is lighted infrequent passers of the street stroll on or stop to talk or greet benighted i look beyond my city yard and watch the white moon struggling hard cloud buried the wind is driving toward the east a wreck of pearl all cracked and creased and serried at times the moon erupting streaks some long cloud like andean peaks that double horizon vast volcano chains the earthquake scars with lava veins that bubble the wind that blows from out the hills is like a woman's touch that stills a sorrow the moon sits high with many a star in the deep calm and fair and far abides to-morrow end of poem this recording is in the public domain requiem by madison Cowley. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson No more for him where hills look down Shall morning crown her rainy brow with blossom bands Whose rosy hands drop wildflowers of the breaking skies Upon the sod neath which he lies No more, no more No more for him where water sleep Shall evening heap the long gold of the perfect days whose pale hand lays great poppies of the afterglow upon the turf he rests below no more no more no more for him where woodlands loom shall midnight bloom the star-flowered acres of the blue whose brown hands strew dead leaves of darkness hushed and deep upon the grave where he doth sleep no more no more the hills that morning's footsteps wake the waves that take a brightness from the eve the woods o'er which night broods their spirits have whose parts are one with his whose mortal part is done 
whose part is done. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. At Last by Madison Kawine Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk What shall be said to him now he is dead? Now that his eyes are dim, low lies his head. What shall be said to him now he is dead? One word to whisper of low in his ear sweet but the one word love haply he'll hear one word to whisper of low in his ear what shall be given him now he is dead now that his eyes are dim low lies his head what shall be given him now he is dead hope that life long denied here to his heart sweet lay it now beside never to part hope that life long denied here to his heart end of poem this recording is in the public domain A Dark Day by Madison Kawine Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Though summer walks the world today With corn-crowned hours for her guard Her thoughts have clad themselves in gray And wait in autumn's weedy yard and where the larkspur and the phlox spread carpets wheresoe'er she pass she seems to stand with somber locks bound bleak with fog-washed zinnias falls terracotta colored flowers whose discs the trickling wet has tinged with dingy lustre when the bower's thin flame-flecked leaves the frost has singed or with slow feet mid gaunt gold blooms of marigolds her fingers twist she seems to pass with false perfumes and dreams of sullen rain and mist end of poem this recording is in the public domain fall by Madison Kawine, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Sad-hearted spirit of the solitudes, who comest through the ruin-wedded woods, grey-gowned with fog, gold-girdled with the gloom of tawny twilights, burdened with perfume of rain-wet uplands, chilly with the mist and all the beauty of the fire-kissed cold forests crimsoning thy indolent way odorous of death and drowsy with decay i think of thee as seated mid the showers of languid leaves that cover up the flowers the little flower sisterhoods whom june once gave wild sweetness to as to a tune a singer gives her soul's wild melody watching the squirrel store his granary or mid old orchards i have pictured thee thy hair's profusion blown about thy back one lovely shoulder bathed with gypsy black upon thy palm one nestling cheek and sweet the rosy russets tumbled at thy feet was it a voice lamenting for the flowers a heart-sick bird that sang of happier hours a cricket dirging days that soon must die or did the ghost of summer wander by End of poem 
This recording is in the public domain. Undertone by Madison Kawine Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Ah, me! Too soon the autumn comes Among these purple plaintive hills. Too soon among the forest gums Premonitory flame she spills. Bleak, melancholy flame that kills. Her white fogs veil the morn that rims with wet the moonflowers, elfin moons, and like exhausted starlight dims the last slim lily disk and swoons with scents of hazy afternoons. Her gray mists haunt the sunset skies and build the west's cadaverous fire where sorrow sits with lonely eyes and hands that wake her ancient lyre beside the ghost of dead desire end of poem this recording is in the public domain conclusion by madison kawine read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk the songs love sang to us are dead yet shall he sing to us again when the dull days are wrapped in lead and the red woodland drips with rain the lily of our love is gone that touched our spring with golden scent now in the garden low upon the wind-stripped way its stalk is bent our rose of dreams is passed away that lit our summer with sweet fire the storm beats bare each thorny spray and its dead leaves are trod in mire the songs love sang to us are dead yet shall he sing to us again when the dull days are wrapped in lead and the red woodland drips with rain the marigold of memory shall fill our autumn then with glow haply its bitterness will be sweeter than love of long ago the cypress of forgetfulness shall haunt our winter with its hue the apathy to us not less dear than the dreams our summer knew end of poem this recording is in the public domain monochromes by madison kawine read for librivox.org by bruce kachuk the last rose falls wrecked of the wind and rain where once it bloomed the thorns alone remain dead in the wet the slow rain strews the rose the day was dim now eve comes on again grave as a life weighed down by many woes so is the joy dead and alive the pain the brown leaf flutters where the green leaf died bare are the boughs and bleak the forest side the wind is whirling with the last wild leaf the eve was strange now dusk comes weird and wide gaunt as a life that lives alone with grief so doth the hope go and despair abide an empty nest hangs where the wood bird pled along the west the dusk dies stormy red the frost is subtle as a serpent's breath the dusk was sad now night is overhead 
grim as a soul brought face to face with death so life lives on when love its life lies dead go your own ways who shall persuade me now to seek with high face for a star of hope or up endeavors on submissive slope advance a bosom of desire and bow a back of patience in a thankless task alone beside the grave of love i ask shalt thou or thou leave go my hands fain would i walk alone the easy ways of silence and of sleep what though i go with eyes that cannot weep and lips contracted with no uttered moan through rocks and thorns where every footprint bleeds a dead sea path of desert night that leads to one white stone though sands be black and bitter black the sea night lie before me and behind me night and god within far heaven refuse to light the consolation of the dawn for me between the shadowy bournes of heaven and hell it is enough love leaves my soul to dwell with memory end of poem this recording is in the public domain days and days by madison cowine read for LibriVox.org by bruce kachuk the days that clothed white limbs with heat and rocked the red rose on their breast have passed with amber sandaled feet into the ruby gated west these were the days that filled the heart with overflowing riches of life in whose soul no dream shall start but hath its origin in love now come the days gray huddled in the haze whose foggy footsteps drip who pin beneath a gypsy chin the frosty marigold and hip the days whose forms fall shadowy athwart the heart whose misty breath shapes saddest sweets of memory out of the bitterness of death end of poem this recording is in the public domain drouth in autumn by Madison Cowine, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Gnarled acorn oaks against the west of copper, cavernous with fire, a wind of frost that gives no rest to such lean leaves as haunt the briar and hide the cricket's vibrant wire, sear shivering shocks and stubble blurred with bramble blots of dull maroon and creekless hills whereon no herd finds pasture and where o'er the loon flies haggard as the rainless moon end of poem this recording is in the public domain Midwinter by Madison Cowine, read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. All day the clouds hung ashen with the cold, and through the snow the muffled waters fell. The day seemed drowned in grief too deep to tell, like some old hermit whose last bead is told at eve the wind woke and the snow clouds rolled aside to leave the fierce sky visible 
harsh as an iron landscape of one hell the dark hills hung framed in with gloomy gold and then towards night the winds seemed someone at my window wailing now a little child crying outside the door and now the long howl of some starved beast down the flue i sat and knew twas winter with his madman's song of miseries whereon he stared and smiled end of poem this recording is in the public domain cold by madison cowine read for librivox.org by bruce Kachuk. a mist that froze beneath the moon and shook minutest frosty fire in the air all night the wind was still as lonely care who sighs before her shivering ingle nook the face of winter wore a crueler look than when he shakes the icicles from his hair and in the boisterous pauses lets his stare freeze through the forest fettering bough and brook he is the despot now who sits and dreams of desolation and despair and smiles at poverty who hath no place to rest who wanders o'er life's snow-made pathless miles and sees the home of comfort's window gleams and hugs her rag-wrapped baby to her breast end of poem this recording is in the public domain in winter by madison k wine read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. In winter, when black frosts pluck the acorns down, and in the lane the waters freeze, and thwart red skies the wild fowl flies, and death sits grimly mid the trees, when home lights glitter in the brown of dusk like shaggy eyes, before the door his feet, sweetheart and two white arms that greet sweetheart and two white arms that greet when ways are drifted with the leaves and winds make music in the thorns and lone and lost above the frost the new moon shows its silver horns when underneath the lamp-lit eaves the open door is crossed a happy heart and light sweetheart and lips to kiss good night sweetheart and lips to kiss good night and a poem this recording is in the public domain on the farm by madison k wine read for LibriVox.org by nemo on the farm he sang a song as he sowed the field sowed the field at break of day when the pursed up leaves are as lips that yield balm and balsam in spring concealed in the odorous green is so revealed halloo and o oh, hallo for the woods in the far away he trilled a song as he mowed the mead mowed the mead as noon begun when the hills are gold with the ripened seed as the sunset stares the loom and lead to the sky where summer knows naught of need halloo and o oh, hello for the hills and the harvest sun he hummed a song as he swung the flail swung the flail on the afternoon when the idle fields are a wrecker's tale that the autumn tells to the twilight pale as the year turns seaward a crimson sail hallo and oh hallo for the fields and the hunter's moon he whistled a song as he shouldered his axe shouldered his axe in the evening storm when the snow of the road shows the rabbit's tracks and the wind is a whip that the winter cracks with a herdsman's cry o'er the clouds black backs halloo and oh 
hello for home in a hearth to warm end a poem this recording is in the public domain paths by madison k wine read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Paths. What words of mine can tell the spell of garden ways I know so well? The path that takes me in the spring, past quinces where the bluebirds sing, where peonies are blossoming, unto a porch wisteria hung, around whose steps may lilies blow. A fair girl reaches down among her arm more white than their sweet snow what words of mine can tell the spell of garden ways i know so well another path that leads me when the summer time is here again past hollyhocks that shame the west when the red sun has sunk to rest to roses bowering a nest a lattice neath which mignonette and deep geranium surge and suff where in the twilight starless yet a fair girl's eyes are stars enough what words of mine can tell the spell of garden ways i know so well a path that takes me when the days of autumn wrap themselves in haze beneath the pippin pelting tree mid flitting butterfly and bee unto a door where fiery the creeper climbs in garnet hued the cock's comb and the dahlia flare and in the door where shades intrude gleams out a fair girl's sunbeam hair what words of mine can tell the spell of garden ways i know so well a path that brings me o'er the frost of winter when the moon is tossed in clouds beneath great cedars weak with shaggy snow past shrubs blown bleak with shivering leaves to eaves that leak the tattered ice where under is a fire flickering window space and in the light with lips to kiss a fair girl's welcome giving face end a poem this recording is in the public domain a song in season by madison k wine read for librivox dot org by nemo a song in the season when in the wind the vane turns round and round and round and in his kennel winds the hound when all the gable eaves are bound with icicles of ragged gray a glinting gray there is little to do and much to say and you hug your fire and pass the day with a thought of the springtime dearie when late at night the owlet hoots and hoots and hoots and wild winds make of keyhole flutes when to the door the goodman's boots stamp through the snow the light stains red the firelight's red there is nothing to do and all is said and you quaff your cider and go to bed with a dream of the summer dearie when nearing dawn the black cock crows and crows and crows and from the barn the milk cow lows and the milkmaid's cheeks have each a rose and the still sky show a star or two or one or two there's little to say and much to do and the hardier done the happier you with the song of the winter deary end a poem this recording is in the public domain A Part by Madison K. Wine. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. A Part. While sunset burns and stars are few, and roses scent the fading light, and like a slim urn dripping dew, a spirit carries through the night. The pearl pale moon hangs new. I think of you, of you while waters flow and the soft winds woo the golden-hearted bud with sighs and like a flower an angel threw out of the momentary skies 
a star falls burning blue i dream of you of you while love believes and hearts are true so let me think so let me dream the thought and dream so wedded to your face that far apart i seem to see each thing you do and be with you with you end a poem this recording is in the public domain Fieri Morris, read for LibriVox.org by Eva Davis. One. The winds are whist, and hid in mist, the moon hangs o'er the wooded height. The bushy bee, with unkempt head, hath made the sunflower's disk his bed, and sleeps half hid from sight. The owlet makes us melody. Come dance with us in fury. Come dance with us tonight. Two. The dew is damp. The glowworm's lamp blurs in the moss its tawny light. The great grey moth sinks half asleep, where in an elfin laundered heap the lily gowns hang white. The crickets make us minstrelsy come dance with us in fury come dance with us to-night three with scents of heat dew chilled and sweet the new-cut hay smells by the bite the ghost of some dead pansy bloom the butterfly dreams in the gloom its pied wings folded tight the world is lost in fantasy Come dance with us in fury, come dance with us tonight. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The World's Desire by Madison K. Wine. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. The World's Desire. The roses of voluptuousness wreathe her dark locks and hide her eyes. Her limbs are flower like nakedness, where through the fragrant blood doth press the blossom blood of paradise. She stands with Lilith fingertips, with Lilith hands, and gathers up the wild wine of all life and sips with Lilith laughter lighted lips. The soul is from a crystal cup what though she cast the cup away the empty bowl that flashed with wine her curled lips kiss that stained the clay her fingers touch shall not these stay that made its nothingness divine through one again shall live the glow immortalizing of her touch and through the other sweet to know how life swept flame once neath the snow of her mooned breast and this is much end a poem this recording is in the public domain the unattainable by madison k wine read for librivox dot org by nemo the unattainable mark thou a shadow crowned with fire of hell man holds her in his heart as night doth hold the moonlight memories of day's dead gold or as a winter withered asphodel in its dead loveliness holds sense of old and looking on her lo he thinks tis well who would not follow her whose glory sits imperishably lovely on the air who from the arms of earth's desire flits with eyes defiant in rebellion's hair hers is the beauty that no man shall share he who hath seen what shall it profit him he who doth love what shall his passion gain when disappointment at her cup's bright brim poisons the pleasure with the hemlock pain hers 
is the passion that no man shall drain how long how long since life hath touched her eyes making their night clairvoyant and how long since love hath kissed her lips and made them wise binding her brow with prophecy and song hope clad her nakedness and lovely lies giving into her hands the right of wrong lo in her world she sets pale tents of thought unearthly bannered and her dreams wild bands besiege the heavens like a twilight fraught with recollections of lost stars she stands radiant as lilith given from god's hands the golden rose of patience at her throat drops fragrant petals as a pensive tune drops its surrendered sweetness note by note and from her hands the buds of hope are strewn moon flowers mothered of the barren moon so in her flowers man seats him at her feet in star-faced worship knowing all of this and now to him to die seems very sweet fed with the fire of her looks and kiss while in his heart the blood's tumultuous beat drowns in her own the drowsing serpent's hiss he who hath dreamed but of her world shall give all of his soul unto her restlessly he who hath seen but her far face shall live no more for things we name reality such is the power of her tyranny he whom she wins hath nothing neath the sun forgetting all that she may not forget he loves her who still feeds his soul upon dreams and desires and doubt and vain regret life's bitter bread his heart's fierce tears make wet what word of wisdom hast thou life to wake him now or song of magic now to dull the dreams he lives in or what charm to break the spell that makes her evil beautiful what charm to show her beauty hides a snake whose basilisk eyes burn dark behind a skull end a poem this recording is in the public domain Remembered by Madison K. Wine. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo. Remembered. Here in the dusk I see her face again, as then I knew it, ere she fell asleep. Renunciation, glorifying pain of her soul's inmost deep. I shall not see its like again, the brow of passive marble, purely aureoled as some pale lily in the afterglow with supernatural gold as if a rose should speak and somehow heard by some strange sense the unembodied sound grow visible her mouth was as a word a sweet thought falters round so do i still remember eyes imbued with far reflections as the stars suggest the silence purity and solitude of infinite peace and rest she was my all i loved her as men love a high desire religion an ideal the meaning purpose and the loss whereof god alone shall reveal end a poem this recording is in the public domain The Sea Spirit by Madison Cowain. Read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. The Sea Spirit. Ah, me! I shall not waken soon from dreams of such divinity. A spirit singing in the moon to me. White sea spray driven of the storm were not so wildly white as she. She beckoned with a foam white arm to me with eyes dark green and golden green loose locks that sparkled drippingly out of the green wave she did lean to me and sang till earth and heaven were a far forgotten memory for more than heaven seemed hid in her to me 
sleep sweeter than love's face or home love more than immortality and music of the dreamy foam for me pass over her with all thy ships with all thy stormy tides o sea the memory of immortal lips for me end of poem this recording is in the public domain a dream shape by madison k wine read for librivox dot org by nemo a dream shape with moonwhite hearts that held a gleam i gathered wild flowers in a dream and shaped a woman whose sweet blood was odor of the wildwood bud from dew the starlight arrowed through i wrought a woman's eyes of blue the lids that on her eyeballs lay were rose pale petals of the may i took the music of the breeze and water whispering in the trees and shaped the soul that breathed below a woman's blossom breast of snow out of a rosebud's veins i drew the fragrant crimson beating through the languid lips of her whose kiss was as a poppy's drowsiness out of the moonlight and the air i wrought the glory of her hair that o'er her eyes blue heaven lay like some gold cloud or dawn of day a shadow shadow in the glass of sleep my spirit saw her pass and thinking of it now me seems we only live within our dreams for in that time she was to me more real than our reality more real than earth more real than i the unreal things that pass and die end of poem this recording is in the public domain the vampire by madison cowain read for librivox dot org by sonia the vampire a lily in a twilight place a moonflower in the lonely night strange beauty of a woman's face of wild flower white the rain that hangs a star's green ray slim on a leaf point's restlessness is not so glimmering green and gray as was her dress i drew her dark hair from her eyes and in their deeps beheld a while such shadowy moonlight as the skies of hell may smile she held her mouth up redly wan and burning cold i bent and kissed such rosy snow as some wild dawn makes of a mist god shall not take from me that hour when round my neck her white arms clung when neath my lips like some fierce flower her white throat swung or words she murmured while she leaned which words she holds me softly by the spell that binds me to a fiend until i die end of poem this recording is in the public domain will o the wisp by madison cowain read for librivox dot org by sonia will o the wisp there in the calamus he stands with frog webbed feet and bat winged hands his glowworm garb glints goblin wise and elfishly and elfishly above the gleam of owlet eyes a death moth cap of downy eyes nods out at me nods out at me now in the reeds his face looks white as witch down on a witch's night now through the dark old haunted mill so eerily so eerily he flits and with a whippoorwill mouth calls and seems to syllable come follow me come follow me now over the sluggish stream he wends a slim light at his finger ends the spotted spawn the toad hath clomb slips oozily slips oozily 
his easy footsteps seem to come like bubble gaspings of the scum now near to me now near to me there by the stagnant pool he stands a fox-fire lamp in flickering hands the weeds are slimy to the tread and mockingly and mockingly with slanted eyes and eldritch head he leans above a face long dead the face of me the face of me end of poem this recording is in the public domain the headless horseman by madison cowain read for librivox dot org by sonia the headless horseman on the black road through the wood as i rode there the headless horseman stood by the wild pool in the wood as i rode from the shadow of an oak as i rode demon steed and rider broke by the thunder shattered oak as i rode on the waste road through the plain as i rode at my back he whirled like a rain on the tempest blackened plain as i rode four fierce hoofs shot red with fire as i rode woke the wild rocks dark and dire eyes and nostrils streamed with fire as i rode on the deep road through the rocks as i rode i could reach his horse's locks through the echo hurling rocks as i rode and again i looked behind as i rode dark as night and swift as wind towering he rode behind as i rode on the steep road down the dell as i rode in the night i heard a bell in the village in the dell as i rode and my soul called out in prayer as i rode lo the demon went in air leaving me alone in prayer as i rode end of poem this recording is in the public domain the werewolf by madison k wine read for librivox dot org by eva davis and nemo the werewolf nay still a mort my love why dost thou lag the strix owl cried nay yon wild stream that leaps hoarse from the black pines of the hakel steeps a moon-tipped water down a glittering crag why so aghast sweetheart why dost thou stop the demon huntsman passed with hooting horn nay twas the blind wind sweeping through the thorn around the ruins of the dumberg's top my limbs are cold come warm thee in mine arms mine eyes are weary rest them love on mine i am athirst quench on my lips thy thirst o dear beloved how thy last kiss warms my blood again off how thy eyeballs shine thy face thy form so do i die accursed and a poem this recording is in the public domain the troglodyte by madison cowain read for librivox dot org by sonia the troglodyte in ages dead a troglodyte at the hollow roots of a monster height that grew from the heart of the world to light i dwelt in caverns over me were mountains older than the moon and forests vaster than the sea and gulfs that the earthquake's hand had hewn hung under me and late and soon i heard the demon of change that sighed a cosmic language of mystery while life sat silent primeval eyed with the infant spirit of prophecy gaunt stars glared down on the titan peaks and the gaunter glare of the cratered streaks of the sunset's ruin heard condor shrieks the roar of cataracts hurled in air and the hurricane laying his thunders bare and rush of battling beasts whose lair was the antechamber of nadir gloom 
were my outworld joys but who shall tell the awe of the depth that heard the boom of the iron rivers that fashioned hell end of poem this recording is in the public domain The City of Darkness by Madison Cowain, read for LibriVox.org by Sonia. The City of Darkness. Wide walled it stands in heathen lands beside a mystic sea, with streets strange trod of many a god and templed blasphemy. Far in the night, a rose of light, it shines beside the sea, but overhead, an unknown dread impends eternally there is a sound above around of music by the sea and weird and wide the torches glide of pagan revelry there is a noise as of a voice that calls beneath the sea and all the deep grows pale with sleep and vague expectancy then slowly up as from a cup sees poison lifts the sea wild mass on mass as in black glass the town glows fiery red lit it glowers like hell's dark towers set in the iron sea and monster swarms with awful forms roll through it cloudily still overhead the unknown dread whose shadow dies the sea at wrath winged wait behind its gate till god shall set it free a talent flash an earthquake crash and lo upon the sea black wall on wall a giant pall night settles hideously and where it burned a rose inurned red in the vasty sea the phantasm of the dread above sits in immensity end of poem this recording is in the public domain transmutation by madison k wine read for librivox dot org by nemo transmutation to me all beauty that i see is melody made visible an earth translated state may be of music heard in heaven or hell out of some love and passion strain of saints the rose evolved its bloom and dreaming of it here again perhaps relives it as perfume out of some chant that demons sing of hate and pain the sunset grew and haply still remembering relives it here is some wild hue end a poem this recording is in the public domain end of undertones by madison k wine